Hi guys, my name is Megan and today I've got my November wrap up for you. Alright, so November was a little bit of a struggle reading wise. So I definitely did not get to all the books that I thought I would. So, so I think I talked about that in my TBR for this month. So I will link that up in the corner. Let's just dive into what I finished this month. Um, so the first book that I finished in November was the Raven Boys. This was really, really good. It was interesting. So there were a couple of places that I got confused about who was supposed to be the narrator. I think it was supposed to be Gainsey, but it read more like it was Adam being the narrator. And that happened a couple of different places. But I think overall that was the only part that I found really confusing. I did really like Blue as a main character or as, you know, the main female character. She's like quirky, but it's not like other, I'm not like other girls kind of thing. She kind of was just like quirky and her own sense of just being weird. We all have those friends that are just like weird and you just love them anyway. That's kind of how Blue was for me. I really loved the Raven Boys. Um, so I love Gainsey, uh, Ronan, Adam, and Noah. They just had this like endearingly dumbass energy about them um, that I just really loved. And the Raven Boys got a solid four to five stars. So the next book that I finished in November was The King's Inn. Oh my God, this book almost destroyed me. <laughs> like, oh my God, this, this book should have been at least another three chapters and I would have been happy. There was so much going on in this book. It was ridiculous. Like I just about died reading this. It was so good. Honestly, I don't even know how to describe this book to you because it's just, this book just had all of the angst. Like seriously all of it like this book has enough angst to cover four separate novels and like the fluffiest little bits were just like perfect and like mm, this whole book was just a roller coaster of emotion and i just i really liked how andrew and neil's relationship kind of bloomed and how it was just kind of this little tiny secretive thing and then it just kind of was out there and then the whole team found out and I just love the whole team dynamics. Like really Dan and Matt just kind of adopted Neil as their son and they just were like the sweetest and I really liked Allison and I liked how well this team bonded together and it was just incredible. Um, the only thing that I would have liked a little bit more in this book was more of Ichiro and Uncle Stuart just because I felt like they were talked about a lot in like the broad sense but they weren't ever really present except for maybe a scene here and a scene there. And I wish there was a little bit more of them in this because I feel like they could have been just so much more involved. Other than that, this book was incredible. And yeah, this book got a full five out of five stars. So the graphic novel that I finished this month was Check Please, Volume 2, Sticks and Scones. Oh my god, if The Kingsman was angst personified, this book was fluff personified. It was just incredible. I just, I loved Biddy and Jack and I loved the whole hockey team. They're just incredibly amazing and supportive. And I just, I really enjoyed this book. I loved seeing Jack and Biddy get together and, you know, like actually start telling people that they're dating. And I just, I really enjoyed seeing how Biddy and Jack processed everything and like how they told the people that they love the most. So this book almost made me cry like a couple of different times. So when Biddy came out to his mom and his dad and to the team and it was just so funny and cute and just like fluffy and like I love Dex and Nursey and Chowder and like I just really this book was just so cute and so good and you know amidst all of the fluff there are serious moments there were also really hilarious moments between all of the other characters and i just i really liked how this all ended up and i wish so hard that there was more this one got a four and a half out of five stars and if you guys haven't checked out check please please do it's so good okay so check please was actually the last book that i finished prior to me filming this video. So as of filming this video, I am currently reading Shattered Bonds and Felix Ever After. So I'm reading him at the same time because I couldn't really decide. Um, so Felix Ever After, I'm about 50 pages in and Shattered Bonds, I'm about 110. Um, and I'm really liking having like my urban fantasy and then just a contemporary. Um, so it's kind of a nice balance. So then the last book that I had thought that I was gonna get to, but I really wasn't pushing super hard to finish it was Night in Silence. This one I will probably put back in my TBR cart for some time in 2021. All right, so those are all of the books that I got to in November. What did you guys read this month? Let me know down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already and would like to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. 
And if you'd like to follow me on social media for more bookish stuff, check out the links down below. Alrighty, bye guys!